I got up at half six. I feel like I haven't slept the best lately, as in I've just been overthinking a lot because there's so much going on and I need to go on a run. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go on a run now, but there's loads of like running routes and walk routes around here. I just don't know them that well yet. So yeah, planning to do that. And then I need to go to the house, which is literally like 10, 15 minutes from our Airbnb, which is super handy. And Gosh, I feel like 
feel like my lips are blue for some reason really cold we just have been in the house for about an hour and just measuring and putting where we are putting the lights and plug sockets all of that kind of stuff it's actually so much to think about like we're thinking of doing a big double door to the main bedroom and it's just stuff like when you open both doors obviously you can't have like a light switch on either side but it's, it's really nice and exciting isn't it just getting stuff moving now we're just gonna go for some breakfast i was gonna make some before we go before we go before we, oh, i can't talk i feel like i'm that cold yeah we're gonna head into go get some breakfast maybe at some cafe and then come back here because we've got a windows and doors guy and then someone just said they're going up with a drone to look at our roof yeah. is that a roof company actually? that is a roof fixer so yeah we're trying to find out if we need a whole new roof which we really hope we don't but i think it could just be the chimney breath that's leaking popped into the supermarket went into Aldi and I'm actually really surprised to see Prime it's is it Logan Paul's brand the YouTuber Logan yeah, Paul Logan and Paul, KSI. KSI as well um, yeah, I've not heard of it yeah I've heard of it I've only seen it on I think it was was it Wakefield it was on Instagram it was like a Wakey viral wines, yeah. Wakey Wines I just saw that video so well with the marketing but... yeah but I don't know when when did they get into supermarket I'd seen something that was like £100 for a pack is it an energy drink or just electrolyze. the hydration electrolyze Nice. Really nice. It's not even cold as well. I can't think what it reminds me of. I think it's made in the US, isn't it? it tastes very sweetened, very doesn't sweet. it? 20 calories in the whole thing. 700 milligrams of electrolytes. What do you think? A bit too sweet for me. Change. I just had some lunch. It was actually so nice. I had sea bass with some avocado and a chicken chipolata. And I'm now on my way to a venue called Rudding Park, which is a hotel. Uh, it's got like a restaurant, it's got a spa. It's absolutely gorgeous and not too far from here. And Mason and I are having an engagement party in May. So I'm just going to check out like the room that we'll be using. There's like a terrace as well on like the back side onto the back part of it so I couldn't really picture it in my head so I wanted to go and have a look on my way to meet Robin and Lydia. Lydia is going to be doing like the styling of the setting and everything. She does a lot of weddings and also events and I was looking on Instagram and just like drooling over her pictures and style and stuff like that and then I've made a Pinterest board of the theme and it's going to be a dinner. So only 30 people but I kind of feel like this is giving me a taste for what it'll be like when we start actually wedding planning. It feels so surreal to me i feel like i'm in a dream even saying that out loud <laughs> i'm really excited oh, it's such a gorgeous day as well so that is the plan i've flipping been all over the shop today it feels like and god everything is just happening all at once thank you i'm in the best mood i feel like when you're driving like i feel like i've been let out so many times today in the car but yeah this morning had a builder oh, i feel like i'm doing so much but i had a builder in the house we had the electrician marking up who is starting this week which i'm just super super, super happy about then we had a builder around to talk about knocking through flipping walls and then we had someone to give us a quote for the windows and doors like replacing all windows and doors oh my 
gosh, I nearly passed out when he mentioned the price, like the quote. I don't know whether it was the company that we got a quote with that were just crazy, or if in general, like I've never replaced a window or door in my life, so I didn't know how much they were. So I'm definitely gonna get a few more quotes for that. So yeah, I'll take you along and I'll video as much of this next part. I feel really funny, I've just gone from like gym wear to business girl. I feel like I've swapped, I'm about 10 minutes away. But yeah, spring is definitely here. feel restored when I don't have my nails done I just feel really not like myself I actually had this color when I got engaged I haven't had them since but I just feel like this color just goes with everything and it's the Hailey Bieber glazed donut like nail color so I feel like I just want to go tapping everything now because I haven't had nails on for the past like three or four days which doesn't sound like long but the whole time I was just thinking I need to go get these sorted I have just pulled up at home and I can't quite believe it's quarter past seven but doesn't feel that late because it's so sunny still and gorgeous but I'm just trying to remember to breathe because I feel super excited went and checked out the room oh it's so exciting talking all the party planning so we've kind of finalized the menu so it's gonna be like a three course meal and then just finalize the menu which I need to send out like ASAP Rocky because it's three weeks away when this is all happening it may be even slightly less than that yeah so seen the room picked out some bits and then just finalizing all the little bits we've gone with like a color scheme and stuff had a look at some candles and robin is amazing she's so flipping on the ball and organized and oh, it was just so so nice lydia brought some samples and i'm such a visual person i really like to see things in front of me so i feel like i've got a lot done today i plan to go out for a run this morning but i just have not had chance like i've, I've been over to the house i've been over twice if it, yeah i've been over twice today i have <laughs> Yeah, lots is going on and I just need to remain calm. My upper back and shoulders are so achy. I went to like kind of like a CrossFit style workout the other day and I'm still aching days later. I don't know whether to go on a run still or just go on a walk. I'm feeling a little bit like just, wow, today's just been a lot. And I'm a bit peckish now, so I'm gonna decide when I get in. Oh my god, before I even got home and got in the house, Robin sent me the menu. So I can literally send this out tonight. So we've got a vegan and vegetarian menu and then like a main menu, which sounds so nice. Like when I was reading it, I was getting hungry. So I don't think it's gonna load in the car, but I will let you know. I'll tell you later on this week about the menu. Okay, that run that I've been talking about since 7am this morning is happening. Just got home and I just had cottage cheese on the last cake and I'm gonna try pineapple and coconut BCA drink in my water. I'm gonna do a tempo run just to get it done quickly because the more I'm thinking right the more I don't fancy going to be quite honest but I'm just determined to keep when things get busy like just to keep showing up for myself because I could easily just go sit and put Netflix on and eat my dinner. This is quite a slow water dispenser like it's coming out like a little trickle. Mmm, I can make that a bit weak, but it's nice. So we're actually in week three of the eight week 
strong and fit program and we're going strong. We're doing one tempo run a week, which is like a quicker pace run and then one longer run on a weekend. So I'm gonna do the short paced run now. Just found this random mixed cloud, which I think it's like a chill kind of, I actually quite like sometimes running to chill music. It changes all the time that I definitely don't kind of do podcasts right now. So let's go for it. Oh god, that was such a test because when I got in I was thinking, oh I just want to put Netflix on, have my dinner and chill and then I just had a quite little conversation with my inner dialogue of which was what is actually going to add to my growth and I know, I feel like things like that have a cost sometimes because I'd had it in my head all day that I was going on a run and if I like hadn't have just taken, it took me 25 minutes to go to do my run and I know which adds to my growth. Obviously rest is important and I'm going to probably still watch Netflix. I'm one of these people so say if I hadn't have gone today, tomorrow, I'd have thought to myself, mm, like I said I was going to do something and I didn't stick to my word because that then adds to other things so like when you sort of don't stick to your word with one thing it can kind of just be like a domino effect of like I don't know tomorrow I just probably wouldn't make the right like little choices and I mean really small things so this is why I just always think it's important to set realistic goals so for example that took me 25 minutes I'm not setting out to run you know like a complete four hour run and then that's just unachievable as in to do every day or like it's just not realistic so I'm not saying to set unrealistic goals and then beat yourself up because you can't get to them but yeah that was which is 5k which is the tempo run of the challenge and average pace was five 04 25 minutes 30 seconds I'm quite happy with that I did feel like I was really like congested in my nose I was finding I was having to breathe a lot through my mouth which I don't normally <laughs> do I didn't actually touch my drink the whole time and I feel like that run I ran quicker because it was getting really dark and I was running past a flipping forest and my imagination started to just tell me oh my god what if someone is in one of those flipping bushes <laughs> So I was sprinting and then I had my fists like this, like I was ready. If anyone was coming at me or like, if anyone had popped out, I would have not only probably made myself jump, but <laughs> I don't know. Do you do that or is that just me with a wild imagination? Got some shakes. Mason actually got one and then he's put it into two cups, which is always nice. And just did a back session from week three, living lift, and finished with a little bit of core. I had to cut some of my reps short because we need to be at the house now. Mm. It's half eight. I'm supposed to be there at half eight to meet with not the electrician, the roof guy. Yeah, just put, let's go hard. Huh? Let's go hard, they're not all done.
think we're steaming up this car. That was such a good session, wasn't it? Oh. We get us both in. <laughs> we steamed. Really good. I think we sweat. We steamed up this car right now. We thought we were just locked out as well because the key wouldn't unlock the car. I also wanted to ask you guys on here. I would love to hold a fitness class, maybe up north whilst I'm here. It'd be so fun, wouldn't it? Just to all of us get together and have like. And just meet Massive blow out on a week on the yeah. Saturday and meet like-minded people such a nice feeling when you're like training in a group so my live and lift family and if you fancy that drop it in the comments and we'll make it happen uh, Mason this is looking less and less appealing that flipping green it's thing it's finished. got like a dark green there we need to go back to the Airbnb. The Airbnb lady just dropped a message before we came here saying she's coming round, but we have all our stuff in the Airbnb, so it feels a bit intrusive, doesn't mm. it? But yeah, that whole class was a mix of running with this huge medicine ball. It's a real good like conditioning class. It really yeah. pushes you to um, do things you don't want to do. And I like training with you because I push myself even more yeah, because really I'm good. trying to keep up with your pace. It was really funny. So last weekend when we came to the class, there was a really cute man who was like, he said to Mason, you know, like, what was it, carbon plate? Have you got carbon plates in your shoes? And Mason was flying around and it was in teams. So he was going, running 200 meters so quickly that I had about all of two seconds to catch my breath. But it's really good because I find when you do obviously interval training or any sort of quick paced running, you're gonna work on your running pace. So longer runs become much faster, which is, that's why I programmed the tempo runs. very hard not to flash you right now <laughs> i just started the video and then my towel dropped so we can't be having that on youtube boobies galore so i need to actually get a new eyeshadow palette because i'm using all the wrong brushes right now i need to order some new powder as well and just top up stuff i've run out of but i love that feeling you know when you're using stuff in your makeup bag that you've had in there for flipping ages and you cart around but never end up using i'm doing the quickest makeup right now because my dad has messaged me telling me not to be late we're meeting him for lunch and i'm actually meeting his girlfriend for the first time he seems so happy which is actually so nice and yeah that should be good right i'm just gonna power through my makeup I've got wet hair as well. My hair desperately needed washing. I think I still had plaster in it from knocking that wall down yesterday and by the time I got home last night I was so tired there was no way that this hair was getting washed. Also brought this mirror with me in my mini suitcase. Can you cope? It's quite heavy and it fit in there with like my whole life. All right am I gonna do my hair and makeup in 15 minutes? And I don't know what I'm gonna wear actually today. I think I'm gonna wear these kind of wide leg pants. I haven't got many warm clothes here yet. Like I've still got stuff in like all packed up. I only brought like a big suitcase worth of, what am I doing right now? I'm trying to multitask task and I'm not doing too well. You ready to go? Yeah. I've got wet hair still. Okay, right. Towel is still intact. We don't need any labias flashing on my YouTube channel today. <laughs> Oh my god, my hair right now is feeling a little bit dry. Needs a bit of a hair treatment for sure. Okay, ready to go. Bit of a throw together outfit. And I'm rushing out the door, but we've made it in time. Oh my god, it's a little baby goat base. Oh my god, Mason, look at that little tiny little goat. Little baby. How cute is this little basket?
Good morning. It still is kind of morning. It's Monday and I've just been running around trying to sort these invites out. I ended up just designing the actual graphic myself to match this welcome sign that the girl sent me for our engagement party. I'm actually so excited. I've never done invites or anything. So yeah, it's my first time doing that. I feel like I'm getting carried away though because I was like, oh, I want to do a wax stamp. So I've just been trying to find somewhere and ended up buying like a button to use as a stamp to seal the envelope with. But I love all things like this and it's kind of giving me a taste of what it'll be like planning for a wedding I'll definitely get a graphic designer I think to do our wedding invites because it took me hours like actually an embarrassing amount of time to make these graphic invites so I'm quite proud actually how they've turned out now the plan of action now is to just get all these posted out this morning I did a little bit of work and this graphic thing in the cafe this morning so I'm feeling like oh today I have kind of like a clear headed day I got loads done yesterday I don't normally work masses or well, I try not to work too much on a Sunday but yeah I've just got so much on at the moment it feels like and we also have this guy who's helping us take up this concrete in the house so we've got the house project underworks that me and mason are like trying to we need names for each other or like we need to assign i don't know who needs to be project manager for that but right now we're both doing quite a lot because we just need to get that well underway so yeah now to do the invites just making some lunch as well that smoothie I had this morning oof so tasty really really nice and yeah i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far so here's part of the menu i just made this in capital letters so you could see it a little bit more and then i just got these little percy pig coins to put in and then thinking to decorate with these flowers and then these are the wax melts that we're going to try and use like as a stamp thing oh, i don't know where i put the button So for my stamp, I'm just melting this red wax in the microwave that is very messy. Oh. Mm. oh, that's not really worked. tell you how many hours that took. I haven't tracked how long, but something so small I thought would take no time at all. It has taken so long because I've had to wait for them to dry, but I'm quite proud of these. I ended up sticking them on with glue as well because it was just not happening. When I was doing it with the wax without a proper stamper, oh, it was not happening. I've had to redo so many envelopes. Wait, which is the one that I'm most proud of? I feel like they're all quite good. Without blow my own trumpet, but I quite like this one. But I need to get to the post office before it closes at half five. I'm going to have to literally run. Hello, I've just noticed I feel like I'm blending into the car here. It's Tuesday and we are just about to head to the gym. It's five to seven. No, it's not. It's ten past seven now, actually. God, where has that ten minutes? Just gone. I've got... The green. This one has changed colour. This doesn't look very appealing, but it's got pineapple, spinach, protein. My brain is failing me right now because I don't think I'm fully awake yet. It's what I call my glow smoothie. It's really, really nice. And I made one yesterday, which you will see. Hope you're enjoying this weekly vlog so far. Today's a busy day. I actually didn't sleep the best last night because I was, I was so excited. I need to go to the gym now and then we're doing a gym induction, which is something I always think you should do whenever you join a new gym. And it's at this gorgeous place. So I'll take you there. The gym is beautiful. So we're going to go and do that. And then I've got a meeting at 12 and then it's also my brother's birthday. I'm so glad that I'm saying this on camera because I need to ring him in a sec. I'll do that right now. He might not answer actually because it is still very early, but he's always up at like five, six. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. I will see you, speak to you soon. Sorry, it's really early, isn't it? I hope that didn't hurt your ears. I think it's not focusing because the car's kind of shaking a bit. This car, it feels like a tractor to me. Like the engine sounds like a bit of a tractor. But yeah, we're going out for a meal tonight as well. So loads of fun packed, lots going on today. Also made loads of progress on the house yesterday. Mason was digging up. We've got this literal like mini digger. It's called a breaker in the boot right now. And Mason showed me a video of him using it. And it's all funny. He was literally shaking. He didn't go to the gym yesterday, but I'm pretty sure. Was that a workout in itself? With the Okay. It's like 60 kg, oh. maybe less to be fair. And then you're carrying it around the whole kitchen, jumping up around. Just 
got to the gym and just got my workout plan. This is another day where having some structure is just saving me right now because already I've just started writing some notes, like things that I've just remembered as I'm driving to the gym, just that I missed yesterday or that I've forgotten, just things that I need to check and things even like with the Dubai apartment. Like I cancelled the Wi-Fi and then I think I'm due some deposits at the back. So just stuff like that just popped into my head. So I've just written that on my notes and then what I found with my sessions is then I just completely focus on myself and that is one thing I just love about you know when you go and train and it's that time of the day where you can just focus completely on yourself undistracted as much as you can obviously and having a plan is just the best right now because I don't have to think about right what session we're going to do especially when you're in those busier phases of your life where things are hectic and you're not going to have like the best session so I just think this thank you God, so I know exactly what I've got coming up. So we're doing barbell hip thrust pause, wide stance, back squat, single leg press, and kickbacks. So it doesn't need to be a million exercises. This is gonna be a really good session and I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm gonna put a really good playlist on. My hair is going up and this is the nightclub gym. If you've been watching my YouTube for a while, this is where I was training in. This time last year, actually. I think I was coming here quite a bit. And yeah, you can't really see anyone in there. I quite like it. If you feel like you're in a club, but obviously you're not. I was just listening to, I think H has got a new song out that came on the radio, which is really good. All right, let's get to it. finished. I don't know if this is going to taste a bit weird now because it's been flat here. I was actually just thinking in the gym how sometimes I can be quite serious if I'm training but I feel like the gym should be a happier or like a, a more sort of community feel than mm. like everyone's just in their own like like own lane because so easy to just take life a bit too seriously I think when we're just on a floating big circle. Mm, mine's really nice. Mm. Mason smoothie is a bit fizzy apparently. Pineapple in it. I only put a little pineapple. bit of pineapple. I'm using unflavoured protein as well, mm. trying to cut down mm. like sweeteners. I'm so happy this has arrived. I only ordered it two days ago and usually it takes like up to a week but I'd run out of this Abaji Pore Therapy, it's like a salicylic acid 2% and um, that I use after I've cleansed my face and helps so much with any breakouts and just makes my face a lot more radiant and I've not radiant, that's a funny word, I haven't used it for like two or three weeks and I really felt a difference. Oh, so that that's arrived and then I've got the salicylic acid acne treatment which is the cleanser I put on after I've taken any makeup off so I use the Elemis patchy here. I use the Elemis cleansing balm to take the makeup off but these are just my holy holy grail I've been using for maybe two years now and I haven't found a product like it. Oh, it's my brother's birthday meal and oh god I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. I'm just trying to put on these boots. I actually need to put some socks. I haven't seen what this outfit actually probably looks like. I actually got this for Boxing Day and never wore it so <laughs> I'm so happy that like, I didn't know what I was going to wear and this just popped out of nowhere because I still don't have many of my clothes here. Right, does this go? Right, I quite like this. And this is it undone. I can't decide. I think I kind of prefer it undone. Oh, I don't know what to do, but I'll we'll just go with where it's easiest right now. I've kind of I've tied this at the back here. That's actually much better. Hands shaking, but we're mm. matching. Right, let's go. We're gonna be late. Oh, 